In this video, we will explore the admin bar. It includes many features to help the user save a lot of time manipulating the Joomla back end. First is the site preview feature. Click on the eye icon to view the visitor area of your site. With the desktop icon in the admin bar, you can go to the site manager and site reset page. This is the site manager page. It consists of three main areas, menu, component, and module. And site reset page. Next is Administrator Management. Here you can see the timer with the remaining time in your current session. It enables you to edit your profile quickly and easily. The Editor Switcher helps you to switch the Joomla Editor quickly. The Messages item shows the number of private messages and gives you quick access to the Message Manager page with one click. And you can log out of your admin site with one click as well. With the Start icon, you are able to add the current page to the Favorite list. Click on the Add Current Page to Favorites menu item to add your current page to the Favorite list. Here you can change the title of the page. Once you're done, just click on the OK button to finish. Click on Trash if you want to remove a page from the list. Next is History Management. This feature records all the pages that are edited and saved before in a section. The last feature in the admin bar is Spotlight Search. With it you are able to search everything on your website such as articles, categories, modules, plugins, users, and more. Click on the JSN PowerAdmin 2 logo on the left to explore the extension page. And click on the Joomla Shine logo on the right to explore the JSN brand page. You can also quickly uninstall an extension. To show all the features in the admin bar, we need to adjust the settings for them on the settings page. In the components menu item, click on JSN Power Admin 2 settings. The first is Admin Bar General Settings. Select either the Yes or No option to enable or disable the Admin Bar. Click on the JSN Power Admin 2 logo on the left of the admin bar to settings. Here you can select an image file you want to use as a logo. Set a URL for where the logo image should link to. Set the window target when you click on the logo. And update the logo slogan. The second is settings for the component menu on the admin bar. Select Yes if you want to add the Uninstall menu item to each component menu. The next one is Settings for Administrator Management. That is the user icon in the admin bar. 
Here you can set the amount of minutes before your admin section will be expired and show a warning message. Click on the history icon to set the amount of items to be displayed in the history panel. Last are settings for the Spotlight Search Panel. This allows you to set the search result number, enable or disable search or trashed items, and select an area to perform the search operation in. Once your admin bar setting progress is finished, don't forget to hit save. Thank you for watching. Please check our other videos to learn more about how to work with JSN Power Admin 2.